welcome back to my channel my name is Katie um, and this is Anna this is my little doggy Anna um, she's just as a bubble bee today and because today is Halloween I am a elf I had my ears off I can put them on <coughs> if you want me to no, never mind. Um, anyways I actually wanted to share my two-week trip that I had with my best friend. It actually just happened from like October 6th to the, the 18th. It was a 14 day. It was the 5th. It was the 5th to the 18th. Um, it was me and my friend Tina. Um, we started in Denver, Colorado and moved all the way to the west, the east coast to Myrtle Beach. And then all the way back to Texas in two weeks. So we stopped in multiple locations. Um, the first location was Denver. So I'm just gonna, we stopped at Denver, Kansas City, St. Louis, Kentucky, Berea, Kentucky, um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, that's it yeah that's it everything else was pretty much just drove in through we didn't really go and stop um okay so let's start in denver colorado so me and tina we um i picked her up from the denver colorado um airport in my van and miss daisy yes miss daisy is my full-time home right now if you didn't know that yet i converted her herself myself so go ahead and check that out on my van build um i'll actually have a link below um, anyways, so she, I picked her up and, um, first day was pretty chill. We went to the gym and then went to the park. Um, and then we kind of just, we went to go find this vintage place to go find some corsets for the Renaissance Festival this past weekend. So we went to this really cool costume place and I got a crown and a corset and she got a corset. And then we walked up and down because there were a bunch of shops and shit and we took some pictures and it was, it was fun. It was a good time. Um, next, so then that night we stayed in this sketchy, sketchy place in the, in a park. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about it, but we stayed there. Um, and then the next morning we then went to the botanical gardens of Denver, Colorado um this place was really beautiful i loved it i mean our only intention was to check it out and go take pictures because take pictures of me <laughs> um but yeah first we found a good place to park um near with the van we took some shots in the van oh, before on. we left and, and um see? went inside we should have brought our alcohol inside we didn't know we could but we could, totally could have and it only cost $15 per person. It was just this big, beautiful garden of just in and outdoor gardens and flowers and ponds and trees and just beautiful. Um, so that was good. That was fun. I actually had a lot of good time You're with so that. Soft. Um, then we left and after that we got dressed and then drove eight hours to Kansas City. Um, got to Kansas City super late at night. I'm not gonna lie, it was a struggle. I drove four hours, Tina drove four hours. Um, but we got there late at night. I think we stayed out of Planet Fitness. And then, yeah, we we're in Kansas City. So then we got up. We actually went, we took showers, went thrift shopping, because we like to do that. Went thrift shopping. That was a good time had fun with that um and then um we were gonna go to a museum but we ran out of time like we were in the thrift shop for too long we were just in there for too long so then we went to the red door cat not cafe red door grill and it was so delicious um there was a marilyn monroe poster in the background and I was wearing a Marilyn Monroe dress so Tina was like do her face she was like no, no. 
I can't get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was funny, and that was really good. Ate there, and I think we slept at that Planet Fitness one more time. Woke up. Um, I think we went to a museum the next morning, and then we headed to St. Louis. Or maybe we just left for St. Louis in the morning. Maybe we didn't go to a museum. Anyways, got to St. Louis. Um, St. Louis, let's see. We got there, and I know we went to the St. Louis um, Ferris wheel. The big the big wheel. Not the Ferris wheel. Maybe it is a Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um, and we went to Landry's, which was right next door to the Ferris wheel. It was funny, though. When we arrived for the Ferris wheel... <laughs> It's like this big area that has a whole bunch of shops and stuff to do. We parked right next to a dead squirrel. Oh my gosh, guys. So, <laughs> me and Tina just parked for the aquarium. And Tina opens her fucking door. And there's a dead squirrel over there. It has like flies on it. <laughs> disgusting. Hey, it's free parking though. We don't have to pay for it. I don't want to get out. It's got diseases. Don't touch it. Oh, I'm not touching it. <laughs> anyway, so we went in, had Landry food, had a drink. We were sitting next to this beautiful pond with koi fish and they were doing some fire stuff. Um, and then I got my first little squishmallow, and her name is Penelope. And then we rode the wheel. That was beautiful to see, like, the city. And then after the wheel, after the wheel, we were pretty ch oh, exhausted. I'm not going to lie. This very yeah. day, I was super, ready? super drunk. Like, Are you ready? Okay, not super ready? drunk, but I was pretty tipsy. Yeah. I was feeling pretty good <laughs> about myself. <laughs> So, um, we then went to the arch, the St. Louis arch. We did hang out in the car before then because we had some time to go. St. Louis arch took lots of picture and videos. So many good ones too. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. And then after that, we then went over to this cute little bar with peak pool tables. And we went to that, played a couple rounds of pool. I lost a couple, she lost a couple. Um, and then we played some air hockey and we did a little, um, this is us <laughs> from that night. Do a little photo shoot. <laughs> and then um, someone actually came up to me. They're like, I really like your vibe. I really like your energy. I was like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, yeah, so that was good. We didn't stay out too late. We then slept in the parking lot. Um, next morning, got up, decided to drive all the way to Kentucky. So we drove all the way to from St. Louis to Berea, Kentucky, um, where Tina's family actually lives, her, her other part of family. And by this time, it was the weekend. So she was pretty excited to visit them because she hasn't been there in years. And I was excited because I'm not going to lie at this point. I was pretty tired of doing things every day. You know, I was excited to get somewhere and just be there for a couple days. So we were there for a couple days. We, we stayed at her uncle's house. And we uh, the first day we went antiquing, I found this beautiful fur coat um, from the antique store. And then, uh, then we got some Italian food from this place her family used to work at, but it wasn't very good. Nah. And then we went to this art little stuff where handmade stuff, little businesses are trying to sell their things. So we went to go look at all that stuff and it was really cool. Um, yeah, so we did that and then do to do the next day. We went hiking with Tina's cousin and her daughter to Cumberland Falls. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 
we saw the big waterfall and then behind the big waterfall there's a hiking trail you can hike all the way down the river and get to this other waterfall over here all the way down and then um and then we thought there was like an old abandoned town there but it ended up just being an old abandoned old film set so we saw that but it was a little bit of a letdown um also oh my god yeah so also when we first got there to go hiking we were trying to park in this area and this car ended up being stuck um the car was like wedged in a like a v-shape ground it just couldn't get traction so there's some old people and they were trying to like shove a log in there i was like what are you doing and we came up to him to help him to push a car and i was like have y'all tried turning the wheel they're like no i said i think we should start with turning the wheel and we turned the wheel to the right to the right and they floored it back and it came right on out it was like zoo. tina was so worried about me she thought i was gonna get hit by the car um, but yeah, totally helped them out. They were trying to like shove a log in there to grab traction. I was like, a log's not going to work guys. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Yeah. So that happened. That was fun. Our good deed of the day. <laughs> but yeah, after we went hiking, we were pretty exhausted. So we, um, got some Burger King, drove home. Next day it was Monday. Me and Tina did nothing. We were so tired from the days before that we'd had a do nothing day at her uncle's house. It was great. And then Monday, okay, so actually, so during this weekend, my friend Lana hit me up about this regional burn. And she said, hey, do you wanna come? It's next weekend, we can get you in. I was like, yeah, let me ask Tina. And at first when I asked Tina, she really wasn't sure about it. Tina's a huge like, planner you know she doesn't do spontaneous things too often so I knew it was a long shot so at first she was like uh I don't know what's gonna ruin with our plans I was like okay I totally accepted she was gonna say no but then a day later she came up to me and she was like all right if you can make it happen let's go I'm like really she said yeah I said all right fuck yeah So I hit up Lana. I was like, all right, we're going to go. Let's find some tickets. Let's go. She's like, all right, bet. So I got everything squared away. Talked to my camp leader because I'm also part of this camp. Um, And I've been with them before. And the leader is just amazing. So I talked to him and it was all set to go in like the next day. So Monday we decided to, she really, Tina really wanted to see the East Coast. So we decided to take a straight drive to Myrtle Beach be there for a day and then drive to Atlanta Georgia um the next day and then the next morning go into the festival which is like an hour out of Georgia uh Atlanta 